Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you my chocolate chip cookie recipe. I kind of took a recipe that I had and it always used to turn out flat like a pancake. So one day I was making them for the farmer's market uh, up in New York where I lived and I didn't realize I had left out the brown sugar altogether. So I only put the white sugar in it. And the cookies got so nice and high. They weren't like pancakes. They were beautiful. And one of my neighbors had commented she had bought a package. I was like, boy, they were so good. You know, they weren't too sweet. And then it dawned on me, I forgot the brown sugar. But anyway, so I'm only going to use um, a half of a cup of brown sugar in this recipe rather than what most recipes call for, which is one part regular sugar, one part brown sugar. So it's going to be three quarters of a cup of regular sugar half a cup of brown sugar and like i say you can even go a little bit lighter on that too if you want it definitely won't hurt it'll make your cookies actually bigger one cup of margarine or butter softened i'll be using imperial margarine one egg i'll be using bob's red mill egg replacer uh, two and a quarter cups of flour one teaspoon of baking soda you can also add one cup of coarsely chopped nuts. I don't like nuts in mine, although I have already ground Brazil nuts very finely and put them in the cookies. My husband likes that. And uh, it was very good and you didn't taste the Brazil nuts at all. So even if you want to do that with walnuts or whatever kind of nuts you wanted to, if you grind them up fine enough, you really won't even taste them. And then of course, one package of your favorite semi-sweet chocolate chips. Of course, I'll be using my Trader Joe's ones. They're my favorite. They don't contain any dairy in them. So, all right, so come on along over and we'll get started. Okay, so my mixing bowl, I'm going to get my one cup of softened margarine. I say you can use butter if you'd like. For the recipe, for this particular recipe, when you use butter, it makes it come out, the cookies come out like a little bit harder, and so you don't get that softness. And that's what people really seem to like when I make these, is like how they're nice and soft. Uh, so again, I use imperial margarine for that. I'm just going to use one half cup of brown sugar, and that's just lightly um, packed in there. I didn't firmly pack it. I just gently put it in there. Three quarters of a cup of white sugar. And then your one egg, which again, I'm using the Bob's Red Mill egg replacer in that. So I've already got that all ready to go. And even before uh, I started using this, um, egg replacer with just a regular egg they came out beautifully but of course the way I'm making these today actually they're vegan so no egg and no dairy in this but even if you want to do um, regular egg in it it still turns out just as good okay we'll get that ready put that in the mixer and we'll be back to put our dry ingredients in okay so all of those ingredients are blended up well uh, I am going to do something today a little bit different. I am going to go and put a little bit of um, vanilla paste in the mix. There we go. You don't have to, though. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just forget, but it's not anything that's in the recipe. So I'm going to have two and a quarter cups of flour go in next, and then one teaspoon of baking soda. That in there, get that all mixed up, and then we're ready to add the chocolate chips. Okay, so that's all done, and next we're going to go and put the chocolate chips in, one whole package of them. Again, these are from Trader Joe's. They're the 72% dark chocolate, and uh, it doesn't seem to contain any dairy, so I always say that they're vegan, no dairy or egg. Put in there. Get that mixed up and then they'll be all ready to go into the oven. Okay, so they're all ready on the trays. I have 19 cookies all together. I didn't put these too close together. Depends on whether or not they're spread out too much and run together. But I put 11 on this one. And then I just put the eight on this one. So, okay, we're back with the finished cookies. Here's some of them. It made about, like I said, about 19 cookies. Bake them at 375 degrees for 13 minutes. If you'd like and you like them a little bit crispier, you can always bake them for another minute or so. Um, I probably wouldn't go over 14 minutes though, and they might get a little bit too dark. But there you have it perfect chocolate chip cookies. 
Thank you everyone for joining me today for my chocolate chip cookie recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it. And remember too, you can always swap out the chocolate chips for butterscotch chips, peppermint chips, peanut butter chips, whatever you'd like, or maybe do a half and half. Um, that's always fun too. So don't be afraid to change it up a little bit and make it fun. All right. Thanks again for joining me and I will see you soon.